Have you ever seen a football team in a locker room on Monday morning, post game, analyzing and breaking down every single play? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is your sport retrospective in the world of Scrum. It's where your team meets after the game to refine their tactics and strategies for the next sprint. I want to welcome you to Scrum Academy Scrum Football Series, where today we transform your sprint retrospective into a game changing coaching session, ensuring every game, every sprint is better than the last. Greetings, Scrum Masters, greetings, Agile Coaches, greetings, Scrum Teams, and greetings, Enthusiasts. Today, we're in the locker room of Agile, the Sprint Retrospective. Think of it as the crucial coaching session that every sport team has after a big game. Just like a football team analyzes game footage to see what worked, what did not work, to find key strengths and areas of improvement, in Scrum, we use the Sprint Retrospective to reflect on the Sprint's plays discussing improvements and strategies for the upcoming game. Take a critical pause to reflect, critique, and refine your agile gameplay. Let us explore how to make your retrospectives more engaging and effective, turning every sprint into a learning opportunity. This ensures that your next sprint is even more successful, driving your team towards championship performance. Understanding the retrospective. Much like the detailed post-game analysis in football, the sprint retrospective involves the whole team. It is where you review the game tape, the sprint, celebrating successes and learning from challenges encountered during the sprint. So what's the connection to this analogy between football and scrum? In sports, the post-game analysis is essential for any team aiming to improve. It's a detailed discussion about strategies, execution, and teamwork. Similarly, the sprint retrospective in Scrum is a time for the team to come together. Oftentimes, it is facilitated by the Scrum Master to reflect on the sprint's performance. But I want to pause there for a moment and remind you of what the Scrum Guide says. Did you read your Scrum Guide today? Because you know that's where I'm going, right? Exactly. According to the Scrum Guide, the Scrum Master ensured that the event take place, it is positive, and also kept within the time box. In fact, the Scrum Masters do not have to facilitate any events. However, in my personal strategy, I am going to facilitate all Scrum events on a new team or a new company I join because in the first 30 days, I have on my teaching hat and I also have on my coaching hat. Well, Scott, how does this apply to Scrum? coaching sessions. Very nice. In sports, a good coaching session after the game helps the players to internalize lessons learned and prepare for future contests. Similarly, in the retrospective, your team discusses what worked, what did not work, and how to implement changes for better performance. This session is crucial for fostering a culture of continuous improvement and ensuring the team's strategies are always evolving and adapting. Let us look at some tactics for effective sprint retrospectives. Effective retrospectives like effective coaching sessions require open communication and blame-free environments. Encourage every team member to share their insights and suggestions for improvement. You could use techniques like stop, start, continue to structure feedback and action points. Oh, that's one of my favorites right there. Much like watching game tape, retrospectives should be engaging and actionable. You can use another technique called mad, sad, or glad to structure that feedback. This ensures that every team member's voice is heard, promoting a comprehensive view of the sprint's performance and creating that environment that is psychologically safe for your team members. Recall that effective retrospectives foster open communication in a blame-free environment. Encourage candid feedback and structured discussions using techniques like these to guide your actionable insights for that continuous improvement item that you're going to use in the next sprint, in the next game, to improve upon 
what y'all currently are doing. Now, what is the role of the scrum master in all of this? Just as a coach facilitates a post-game analysis, the scrum master may facilitate the retrospective, ensuring that it stays productive and focused on improvement. We help the team identify actionable strategies that will lead to tangible improvements in the next sprint, the next game. So how do we ensure that all team members are actively engaged? That's where your facilitating hat comes in and your facilitation skills come into play so that you can engage every team member that's on your team to actively participate into the discussion that you're having in terms of how you're going to improve for the next sprint, for the next game. If you need some practice in that, we have an amazing professional facilitation skills class at scrum.org. I would highly recommend you register for that. It is an amazing class. I learned so much when I took it. I still learn so much when I facilitate it and getting the feedback from the students who are in the class. It's just an amazing class. So certainly would recommend you do that. Another tip for you that you can go practice facilitation would be to join Toastmasters. That is certainly one of the things I do to go practice every other weekend to practice on my communication skills so that I can be an even better facilitator. Every player's input is valuable in a sports team analysis. Similarly, ensure that every team members contribute to the retrospective. This inclusivity enhances the team's collective understanding and commitment to adjust strategies. Ensure every team member voice is heard. Much like every player contributes to a sports team analysis, this inclusivity broadens the team perspective and enriches the strategy refinement process. As we close the book on another play today, as we wrap up our locker room session on transforming your sprint retrospective into a powerful post-game analysis and coaching session, remember the value of reflection and continuous improvement. This is not just another meeting. It is a strategic session crucial for your team's continuous improvement and adaptability. Embrace this time not just to look back, but to actively plan how you and your team can perform better in the next sprint, much like how sports teams adjust their strategies for the next game. Thank you for joining us in the Scrum Academy Scrum Football Series. If this discussion enhanced your retrospective playbook, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that doggone notification bell for more agile insights. Dive deeper into Scrum. Did you read or listen to your Scrum Guide today? Stay agile and keep refining your game plan that leads your team to more victories. Check out our previous episodes. Check out our previous episodes to sharpen every aspect of your Scrum practice and join us next time as we continue to tackle more transformative strategies in our Scrum football series. Until then, keep your retrospectives insightful and your team spirit. And as always, be agile, do Scrum, and be super duper legendary in all of your endeavors. I see you in the previous episode and I see you in the next episode.